What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and this week we have a bonus video. Uh, this is actually a video on a technology item, uh, and that item is the Microsoft Mesh, uh, which is the glasses that is almost like Iron Man-like um, AR reality kind of setting. So we're going to see what we can see about this trailer. We're going to talk about it, so here we go, hopping right in. Alright, Microsoft, what is the Mesh? What does it do? spark that gives our lives meaning. 3D printing, alright. It drives us to seek out others who feel the same. Modeling. Way. Okay. Why don't you input the data and we'll take a look? Okay, together. so here we go. Glasses go on. Hey Mari, what you got for me? To find those who share our views yet offer different perspectives. Saw this net. Oh wow. <clears throat> They're talking straight up holograms like Deepen our understanding. Okay, I see what you're going for, Microsoft. I see what you're doing. Lives. Man, are we really at the age of holograms? Have we what already made it there? When we commit to something bigger than ourselves. Let's take a closer look. Looks good, though. I mean, if, if this is how it truly looks, I, which I doubt, but if in concept is what they're going for, then this could change the world and the way it operates. And feelings of connection it brings excites us hey just in time holograms man straight out of star trek or star wars me, okay it's yours take it we have two planes right now on the same trajectory air control yes People that could come in handy for air control traffic that background. that's something that's a great like application for it asia what do you think i think we had 330 maintaining 2800 was that an ai they, they were talking to that's, that's so, so creepy we see the world and in turn changes the world we see these numbers are looking great, actually. There's promise in the possibilities. And what we see and create next will stretch the imagination. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. A video call with no camera there? How? A world without boundaries. Good job. A lot better than yesterday. Yeah. Excellent. Slowly bring A world where technology enhances, not limits humanity. All right. Well, I could see it. I guess I could see it. But if... But if each pair is going to cost you seven thousand dollars, then there's no point. And in this spotlight, because no one will be able to afford it. The future is here, and here. Can here can be anywhere. Is what they're going for. Microsoft Mesh. All right, that was the trailer, guys, for the Microsoft Mesh. Let's talk about it. So that was the Microsoft Mesh. It looks good for what it is. Um, it looks like it's still very early to see if there's any going to. If there's going to be any real world applications for this like i said there's a few things they can use it for air traffic control would be awesome use um any traffic control um where you can get a wider view from the sky kind of angle could come in handy um definitely um architects um people excavators people who find fossils all this stuff can come in handy for them um, I think it looks pretty cool from a consumer standpoint. I don't see this selling being the, the I don't see this being the next VR or the next hot ticket item because um, I don't think the cost is going to be down enough to where someone like me or you can go out and buy this for three four hundred bucks um, on the store shelves and then take it home and just have fun with it. So that's not something I see this being made for. But um, it's a cool start. It's an awesome leap in technology, um, and I, I'm excited to see where uh, Microsoft takes things next. So. Uh, that was the trailer for Microsoft Mesh. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Microsoft Mesh. Do you think it's going to be cool? Do you think it's going to be used in, in video games or any real-world applications? Let me know down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And as always, guys, keep it right here on Dorkston. I've been your host, Ghost. Adios.